if you're a DAS PA and you have a character that you modeled like this one here, morphed like this one here, where it's the combined head and body, it's all one, one morph for the whole figure, and you want to split that so that you have a separate head and body morph. Um, as long as you're a DAS PA, you have access to the developer kit that we made available with Genesis 8 female and male and the Genesis 3 figures. Um, so we've made it easy for you. And the way you can do that, I'm going to go ahead and dial that back. It's just the default figure loaded in there. And I'm going to, you can see here's people, Genesis 8 female, a developer kit, and then the Genesis 8 female head split deformer. There's one for, oops, there's one for Genesis 8 male under his folder, and Genesis 3, both male and female, have one as well. But you load it in, it's going to ask you what else you want to fit the deformer to. Um, just Genesis, so I'm going to select none and I'll go to the scene and show you what happens there. What happens is there's two, because this is the second time I've done this, because I messed up the first time. But it basically it adds a deformer, um, which has influence weights painted on it that blend out right about the, mat, the neck. And so now when we import the morph, we can use that deformer as a mask, kind of. Um, that's the way I think of it as a mask. So I'm going to take my original OBJ, that's my new character, that's the full figure. I'm going to throw an FHM in front of this, it'll be the head morph. You'd make any other changes you need to do, and this, this will work with um, HD morphs. So it works either regular morphs or HD morphs. I'll go weight maps, and do oh, under attenuate by, you're going to right click it, and go to weight maps, and then deformers, and the influence weights. I'm going to do it again. Bring in the same same OBJ. And so I'm going to go FBM. It's going to be the body. Any other changes you need to make, you make. You go weight maps, deformers, influence weight. Expand it a little further and change the strength from 1 to negative, whoops, negative 1, not negative 13. Negative 1. And that will invert the map basically, or invert the influence weights, um, or the invert the mask as I think of it. And you let Morph Loader Pro do its thing, and over here you now have a full head morph that does just the head, and a full body morph that does just the body, and that deformer is set up, that's the split we use for all of our main releases. Um, Yeah, that's the neck area that we call the split, and the smooth transition that we make between the or along the neck um, is all built into that deformer. So you can just use that deformer. If you wanted to do other fun stuff with um, the influence weight map on a deformer and more Flutter Pro, you certainly can. It works. You can make your own deformer, add your own influence weights, and use that to import your morphs the same way. But that's all there is to it. You're just adding that deformer and then in Morph Loader Pro telling it to attenuate by and of course I don't have the right thing selected but you tell it to attenuate by the deformer and then influence weights there we go and you just do that you let us do its thing. Um, if you want to flip it around, you change that to a negative one. And that's all there is to it.